All right, today I want to present you the Ford Galaxy, uh, one of the best family car on the market today with a great price. And I was really impressed about that car uh, that I see it today right here. And I just want to show you guys. Um, I have to tell you that I'm impressed that this car comes with a two liter engine diesel engine with 150 horsepower a lot of power for a family car in my uh, opinion and also this car it's a seven seater one of the most spacious car uh, in I, I, I ever see uh, in this class and I'm really really impressed with what Ford uh, did with this galaxy and I think um, if you have a big family with two free kids, this is one of the best option um, for for um, to go and also the price it's pretty good uh, Also the visibility from the interior. It's great. The car have big windows the shape of the exterior It's nice. It has nice shapes um, Nice design you can see the, those sharp uh, lines around uh, the car here on the side uh, then even the front part it's nice it's look a little bit like Ford uh, Fiesta for example the grill here we don't have too many LED light it's just the xenon light for the low bin and high bin uh, it is L it's xenon but no LED light even the blinkers the turn signals the daylight is just a normal bulb light so this is something that you just uh, have to keep in mind even the fog lamps are normal bulb light but other than that it has a nice nice uh, shape and nice design even the hood um, is it it is it look nice just uh, even the, the the grill here if you look at the front grill it's, it's very similar with what we see on the Ford Kuga if you didn't see the new Ford Kuga check out on my channel uh, I have a full review there with it and also the grille is very similar the fog lamps as I told you normal bulb light the front grille simple very simple with some lines horizontal lines chrome um, it has four parking sensors in the front uh, and also in the back four parking sensors so you can park the car uh, easily because it's a big car you really need those sensors 17 inch uh, rims uh, very simple they look very nice they fit nice on the car we have braking discs in the front and also braking discs in the back so no drums or something like that then the lines that I told you before uh, nice sharp edges lines big windows you have a great visibility from the interior we will go there in a moment and you will see the visibility from the interior it is really impressive uh, also on the mirrors right here no LED is just a normal bulb light under there we have a light that illuminate the floor in the night it's very useful big mirrors great visibility the way it should be uh, in this big car uh, also we have another window here I like very much those cars that they make this dashboard a little bit longer in the front and you you kind of have nice visibility it feel more spacious and um, come inside the car much more light so uh, it gives you a feeling of holiday I don't know why but I have this feeling every time I go inside those cars with this type of windows I feel like a holiday you know I feel like you get the car and you go in holiday and you slip in the car and stuff like that anyway let's go forward here in the back you have LED light on the tail light but the the blinkers and the turn signals are normal bulb light uh, up on the roof as you see before I think right now also you can add some extra truck here you have the brake light uh, and some uh, glossy plastic around there on the roof spoiler down here four parking sensors in the back as well some light reflectors and um, down there we have just uh, here we have lights on the number plate not LED it's just normal bulb lights uh, you will see it also a little bit later here is the handle to open up the trunk galaxy logo here on the left side 
and yeah a bit big windscreen in the back so yeah kind of this is the back on the left side we have also the tank and also the car come with the latest technology easy fuel you don't have to open anything you just have to put it inside there and you can fuel very easy also the add blue it's there um down there guys under the car if you look closely we have some plastic this plastic it's very very useful in time it helps to not rust the car and it protect the paint and i think all the cars should have that uh, this is my uh, opinion also the handles are awesome it has um, keyless entrance in the car and the handles has a very nice design now you can see the lights they are normal bulb light there uh, on the number plate let's open the trunk and here it's beginning um, the nice stuff in the video and guys looking on this car you have a handle up here then you have this light that illuminate the trunk you have this protection for the trunk and then look at this entrance it's huge entrance you have also plastic here to protect the the bumper we have hooks here aluminum hooks some plastic everything flo flat floor here you have another light here 12 volt port then you have the buttons to fold down the seats right here pretty awesome um, and yeah here you have also the protection if you want to fold down the third row you can install it there and you can put the protection to the trunk if you want that um, here you have the third row I just wanna uh, fold it down for you to show you how much space you have here let me put this outside uh, for a while yeah, the downside is this thing here you cannot put it under so you, you have to leave it home when you go in some place if you don't need it if you use all the seven seats you have to put it in your garage or in your home and then just um, yeah so in order to have more space in the back but look at the space it's phenomenal I mean the space inside this Ford Galaxy it is phenomenal one of the most spacious car guys and the windows are so big even the window in the back it's huge I mean uh, the people that stay on the third row it, they have a fantastic visibility because of these big windows it's, it's just it's just amazing I mean it's it's great now you you have another space down here where you can put your stuff under the, the floor um, but other than that um, this is kind of the space the space is not bad at all here if you're wondering what it is they are just the seats from the third seat so here you have a cup holder and uh, some plastic there where um, your arm are resting and you have another light up there in the roof but let me go and show you the rest of the car also here you can see huge huge entrance in the car here in the back very very practical car one big window like a TV is super big also soft material on the doors I was really impressed about that uh, I don't have plastic up here it's just soft material handles again soft fabric material here you can see it closely and here we have leather soft again uh, white stitches handle it look nice plenty of storage space we have a speaker here on the door also the buttons for electric windows and um, yeah huge huge win huge entrance in the car then um, you can adjust the seats in every position you want that's really impressive also you can install the, the, the kid seats here you have isofix on all the seats and you can look right now the way it looks I will not fold it down I just want to show you uh, that it is you are able to fold down all the seats also you have a very very nice space here also you have a place where you can eat for example the same like in the airplane just the plastic right here and behind this is just soft material stuff material and uh, storage space you can adjust the seats in the front in the back let me show you so you can adjust the seats you can put it in the front in the back you have many many ways uh, in which you can adjust those seats 
also the ESO fix. Um, let me put it back right now. It's very simple to adjust it. Then you have free individual seats here in the back, so free people can stay without any problem. You can also install install the child seat on all the seats. That's a good thing. Uh, actually, <clears throat> yeah. Let me try this. Those buttons usually when you push it, they have to fall down the seats. I don't know why they, they are not working. Anyway, let me go inside here, guys, just to go forward to try to do that. So, look at the space, look at the entrance in the car. Now, let me fold down also those seats. We have fabric seats here. Uh, and if you fold down the seats, you have plenty of space to go inside there. So, if you fold up those seats, you can see the way they work. The system, also fabric materials, uh, they are pretty cool. And let me go inside. I want to show you the, the, the space, guys. And to be honest, I think it's plenty, plenty of space. Even on your head there, you have a light here. You have a vent. It's pretty awesome here on the roof. And then you have some lights here for the third row. Very useful. Very cool. Yeah, pretty nice. Also in the front, this is our second row. Uh, you have the same light, the same design, another vent here, pretty cool. Also, you have a handle and a hook there, so also pretty nice and practical. And yeah, pretty cool the fact that you have a big entrance in the back. You can go in the back very easy and you can also adjust uh, those seats very easy. Also, the headrest. Uh, you can fold it down, but I need two hands right now to do this. So, yeah, I did it. So you can fold down the seats. You can see right now the seats are folding down 100%. And they are folding down on the flat floor. So the fact that you can have a flat floor here, it's pretty impressive. So uh, when you fold down all the seats in the back, then you have a huge space here. It's like a minivan, so you can carry mobile parts, you can even work uh, with this car. Now, huge um, space here on the legs, here we have the climatic system for the back, 12 volt port down here, and you have a small storage for your phone right there in the middle. Uh, I like that the bump in the middle is very small. So you, you can stay with your legs without any problem, even in the middle. Even the middle seat has a great, great space there. So let me go inside right now, guys, to show you the space on the legs. So the space on the legs is pretty good. It's, it's plenty of space. Also, you can put your front seat a little bit more in the front, and then you will have much more space. Huge space on my head. The visibility on the windows is phenomenal. I mean, the window is so big, it's like I'm outside the car. It's just big. It's just perfect. One of the best visibility on the windows. Huge space on my head. Uh, very good space on my legs. You can see for yourself. You can stay free people here in the back without any problem, even for long trips, very long trips. Um, yeah, so it is very very spacious car so i just let you choice now we will go in the front and i will show you this amazing dashboard and i love this design with the, the windows split in two parts they look really nice they look like a holiday they look like we go in holiday now we have a big window here in the front great visibility also, um, you have a speaker here on the door. You have soft material on the doors right here, guys. Uh, that's really impressive. Uh, all over up here, it's soft material. Down here, soft leather again. Stitches, you can see it here. Plenty of soft material on the doors. Uh, that's a big plus for the car. Here is the speaker with the... Uh, uh, lock unlock buttons electric adjustable mirrors and also windows then you have a storage space in the door bands and the uh, speaker right here also very big door bands 
then we go forward manual adjustable seats you have here uh, the buttons then here is the fuse box look at those seats they look so nice they did just simple seats made from fabric material they are just nice and comfortable uh, even for long trips so I don't think you will have any back pain uh, inside the car I didn't drive it before but I think they are okay the dashboard design it's nice it doesn't have too many too much um, technology on the multimedia system but uh, I like this armrest it's in leather great quality and it you have plenty of space down here so you have a big space where you can put your stuff here so that's that's quite cool also then you have two cup holders a little bit in the front let me go inside to show you better so here's the space it's kind of big space here I like the space it's also a little bit under there so it's quite nice and the armrest it's soft and nice here you have electronic handbrake the buttons for the parking sensors and start stop button I like the gear shifter this wireless gear shifter uh, it's awesome it's one of my favorite it's so simple to change the gears left right it's perfect then you have a 12 volt port USB port a big space here for your phone um, great great space there you can also close it up if you want just like that then going upward you have the vents here controllers for the climatic system heated seats heated here steering wheel the steering wheel is heated also uh, start close and all that climatic systems button are right here then you have a CD player DVD player pretty interesting then you have the start stop engine button right here on the right side the cockpit it's pretty simple nothing fancy it's just uh, kind of the, the the standard one here we have the pedals then we have the buttons on the steering wheel where you can adjust the cruise control and here on the right side you have the volume and the music the multimedia system and, uh, and the cruise control the, the the cockpit you can change the settings there also the vents are pretty nice and simple you can see it right here uh, they look pretty nice here you have a big space on the dashboard where you can put your phone then we have soft material on the dash great visibility on the windows uh, I like the way uh, you can see on the windows maybe a little bit of blind spot here but I don't think so anyway I like this shape and the design of the windscreen it's big and nice good visibility on the mirrors in the back it's great visibility you have a big mirror uh, awesome visibility around the windows in the back you can see for yourself I think it's the kind of the best visibility ever in the car it's you feel like you are in a van with those big windows there in the back it's kind of impressive now um, we are here guys in the front what can I say here are the vents we have soft material on the dashboard everywhere then we have some plastic there it's a nice design and the dashboard look nice a big glow box here have plenty of space in the glow box then going forward guys to the steering wheel look nice and from the driver point of view you have a great visibility to be honest going in the middle here you can start the multimedia system also the cockpit as I told you you have just uh, on the right they are classic speedometer thermometer but in the middle you have a small digital screen where you can see the consumption and stuff like that is nothing fancy um, it's just a simple one I wish Ford uh, will make some nice um, digital cockpits in the future the same like Volkswagen or like um, yeah Mercedes for example BMW make some uh, nice uh, cockpit these days the ambient light you can see it as well we have a blue ambient light behind those um, buttons here we have shortcut button for the multimedia system multimedia system it's very small and old ages I can say like that uh, it's work like a radio up here you have a nice mirror that you can see the person the people in the back and here you have a glass support guys 
where you can put your glasses, very practical, very useful. Then you have the lights here, very nice light, kind of mm, white yellow, a little bit of yellow, more white. I like the light, I like the way the lights uh, are looking like. So uh, it's pretty nice, pretty nice. So don't expect to have so many technology on the cockpit, on the dashboard. This car, it's a really practical car that he's do his job perfect he's doing what is supposed to do you know like carry people uh in safe manner and um it's very very uh spacious and uh it's very practical so um this is the the, the car guys so uh what can i say i think um it was helpful for you the video um if you have question just just ask me guys anything you want uh here are the information about the car you can read it out if you're interested in all that details also you will find out the price here as well um i hope the video was helpful guys um if you like it if you want to see more of those new cars that come on the market check it out on my channel uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, also like it share it uh, with your friends thank you again very much for watching my videos guys that mean a lot for me and uh, i hope you will stay safe see you soon in the next one bye guys